like to uh, just show you where I'm up to at the moment. Um, overnight, I've glued in the last uh, P here. Um, now this has given me an extension of nearly 106 mil. I'm a little bit short, but uh, by the time I get the the board just inserted, um, just under the lip here, so we're going to have the board just inserted there. It's a little bit more stylish than putting a board on top like that. It looks a little bit too plain. Um, by the time I do that and then build the shutter mechanism on top here, we'll have our 106 mil depth. Now it's not you know critical to have that exact 106 mil, but uh, you know I'm just aiming to to achieve that. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, I've got the last T here. Now you notice in the last video I was sort of measuring this depth here. The only reason for that is to, I want to make sure that this piece was actually sitting in square on the glue. Otherwise, if I let just let it go, it would have sunk down and would have been all crooked. It would look terrible. So. That's the main thing for that. It's all dry now overnight. And uh, you'll also notice now that, that inside here painted all black. Now you also notice that <coughs> the back of the camera here is not painted black. Now that's because I really want the uh, dark slide to just slide nice and smoothly on the back of this wood. And besides that, if you have a look, once we put the slide into the back here, we don't really need the back to be black because that's going to be covered by the dark side anyway. And the rest of the camera is nice and black. Now the reason we paint inside the black there to stop any sort of um, uh, light reflection within inside the camera when we're doing exposures. We don't want extra reflections or flare coming up inside our shots. We just want pure pinhole, that's it. And that's where we are so far. So the next step here of course is to start putting the, uh, making the front for the camera and the next step is to build our shutter mechanism and we'll take it from there. Alright, so we've got the front plate finished for the front of the camera now. Fits in very snugly, very nice. Now before I glue this in, a couple of things I need to do. And uh, one is, I need to find the dead centre of this plate. Drill quite a fairly large hole, around say a uh, quarter inch, something like that. And make the, I'm going to make the pin hole and actually just uh, etch out a bit of a square insert piece here and glue that in. Um, so that's just going to be inserted flush to this board and then we have the, the shutter piece going on top and that's going to go on top of the board on top of the uh, pinhole and then we've got our, got our shutter piece here a shutter mechanism which is going to be routed underneath this board here so the same thickness as this piece of brass now this stuff can be picked up at any hobby shop 
um, this is quite available anywhere really any hobby shop will sell this type of material and uh, we're going to countersunk this into the wood just a little bit in here so you could do this with a chisel no problem uh, right to the end not right way through but make sure it stops to the end there so you don't have a gap on the other side and so that's going to be our shutter ok I'm going to do away with the cable release at this stage um, you know way too much mucking around with it and uh, really I just want a, a simple setup for this camera so uh, for the time being for this camera anyway we're going to do away with the cable release and we're just going to have this slide uh, shutter mechanism here it's just going to be up and sort of around at the end there and when it fits into the camera it'll just uh, when we have it fully, fully open just going to up butt up against the edge of the camera here and then close that way into the close the hole off so here we go Just to explain what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, cutting out this little insert on the front of the front board here for the camera, and this is where I'm going to insert my aluminium. I'm going to cut up in a couple of minutes just for the pinhole, and it's going to countersink in this wood. So then the shutter mechanism will just slide straight over the top. This piece will be just countersunk. Countersunk in here, and it'll make life a lot easier. So, this is what we've got now. We have the um, just this little insert in here, just dug away. So, when we put our um, put our piece of metal inside there, which won't be this, by the way, it'll be another piece. Um, that'll sit in there really nicely below the surface and then the shuttle will just slide straight over the top of that.